similar again. We are all of us perfectly familiar with the idea of people changing their names for various reasons, either political, social or theatrical. We can, after all, call ourselves whatever we please. It is considered courteous and polite to accept such changes without comment, especially when some minority or other is involved. You will, for example, not see Caitlyn Jenner referred to in a newspaper as Caitlyn Jenner, real name, Bruce. This is, of course, technically correct, would be thought needlessly rude or even cruel. But then Jenna is a trans person and deserving of great sensitivity and respect. In the same way when a black man like pop star Kenya West changes his name to Ye, we go along with it, just as we did when Cassius Clay started calling himself Muhammad Ali a few years ago. Anybody who was to say or write Muhammad Ali, real name Cassius Clay, gets the very odd look. We don't see John Wayne, real name Marion Morrison either, if it comes to that. The convention has changed abruptly and very noticeably for a man called Tommy Robinson. This is the name he has chosen to call himself by, and of course any of us can call ourselves whatever we want. There's no need for any tiresome formalities such as changing your name by deed poll. The law in this country is very clear on the point. As long as you're not using another name to obtain pecuniary advantage, as the law puts it, meaning provided you're not doing so as part of a swindle, then you can use any name you please. I have set out the matter at some length, saying what we all of us already know, in order to point out the weirdness of the fact that we all abide by these unspoken rules all the time, except in one single case, which is of course that of Tommy Robinson. You will always see his name in newspapers followed by the phrase, real name Stephen Christopher Yaxley Lennon. This is particularly so the more left-wing the newspaper or website is. Such places make a positive fetish of using the name Stephen Christopher Yaxley Lennon rather than his preferred and chosen name of Tommy Robinson. Why do they do so? After all, if somebody called Dave Smith announces that he is a woman and wishes henceforth to be known as Felicity Jane, then people will fall over themselves in their eagerness to use the new chosen name. Anybody referring to that person as Dave will be roundly ticked off. There is even a name for this particular kind of rudeness. It is called dead naming somebody. Obviously, the man once known as Bruce Jenner changed his name to Caitlin because he wished to project a certain new image, that of a woman rather than a man. In the same way, Cassius Clay changed his name to Muhammad Ali to show that he was now a Muslim. And of course, Marion Morrison began calling himself John Wayne because, frankly, a guy called Marion doesn't sound all that tough, to say the least of it. I have no doubt at all that similar motives lay behind Tommy Robinson's choice of name, that is to say the desire to project a new image or create a different persona. The use of the name Tommy, which is of course redolent of the archetypal British soldier, was hardly a random act. So why is Tommy Robinson alone singled out in this way by being treated in such a fashion as no trans or black person ever would be? My own suspicion <coughs> is that it is because he is a white heterosexual man, but I'm certainly open to other explanations if anybody is able to offer one. 